Hey guys, Cooper Longway back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Rick. Eric. And we are back with Vox Ma Ma Mish Mishkina. Why is it so hard? It's a hard word Machina. to say. It's not like it's Ma Naruto. Yeah. China. Hey, you've had a hundred episodes of that one. No, I'm saying that's hard. <laughs> it's, it's not Naruto. This no. is Machina. This is a real word. No, it's not. No, so uh, previously we slayed a dragon. Yes. Mm -hmm. By we. But we didn't really, we watched them do it. it the was, it Iron was. Storm. They were defeated uh, at the gorge where the twin rivers met. Indeed. Mm -hmm. I love the idea that when he gave that clue, he meant something much different. Much. But then Still all works. of a sudden they're in this cave and fighting. It's like, well, they either all die or there's two lines. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good advice. It's good advice. It's that <laughs> idea of like, the you know, DM gives you a hint and it means nothing of what you think it means. And then you get to the point like, son of a bitch, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. This recipe for soup is important. <laughs> Damn it. But yeah, so uh, we have a house or a keep. Yeah. Uh, and there's Honorary a seats in the council. Mysterious lady coming to town with a man who can put his hand through people. Yep. And he's not a ghost. No, he's not. And uh, yeah, you don't know. That's it. We also put our hands in a booty. <laughs> Which one, Trace? Bad dream. Is there any other kind? Well, their house is cool. It looks big. To keep. Good morning, everybody. It's like a Disney princess. <laughs> Why is she yelling? <laughs> Why is she yelling? <laughs> what? Seven to two. Three <laughs> to the stupid Seven. thing. Lady Allura, we appreciate the gravity of the situation and will present ourselves with the utmost dignity. <laughs> Seven to three. Seven to five. Oh, he got both. Oh, he got both. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sorry, if you brought weapons, you must that be That looks checked. just like Matt Mercer. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does. <laughs> exactly. I would have kept the loot. How's that a weapon? Depends if you're bad at it. What are you looking at? Diapers. <laughs> what? Diapers. You want to get free with me, sir? I don't even know you. Lord Silas and Lady Delilah Briarwood. Uh -oh. Who's Silas? Mm. The Briarwood. Hmm. Are they the the people who were the, the hunting people? Maybe. Weapons. The safe word is Shenga. Okay. My safe word's mommy. The safe word is Chenga? Chenga. What is what is that? Chenga! That's Chenga. Where's Vax? Oh, uh he has the squirts. <laughs> Percy, I say you just walk over to the Briar Woods, say hello to Break the Ice, then punch him in the face. See what happens. Well, no. I don't hate Grog's idea. We have to wait. Give Vax a chance to gather some intel. He has the, uh, squirts. The squirts. That felt like a... Okay, let's talk about it back here as a party. Yeah. No one else can hear us right now. <laughs> it's like where you have a full conversation and then the DM oh. asks. <laughs> oh, it's so good. That's well funny. Whoa, what? Oh, it has an eye patch. Get an eye patch! Oh, snake! Oh, snake. <laughs> Did his belt turn into a snake? Or perhaps I might be forced to send a garrison of troops to check on your city. You won't need to do that. Mm. Glamour. You are right. There's no need. Stick with vampire. Ah, oh, those are beautiful beads. I have a set just like it, you know. Beads? I've never once seen you... Ew! I don't get it. 
Never will. Whoa. Figure on the inside. Ooh, poisons. Is that a hit list? They came here to kill everyone else in, this, in the country. They grew bored of ruling, and after their children raided the treasury, they abandoned their people to rot. Liars! <gasps> Thank you, Sovereign Uriel, but I think we will retire for the night. It was a lovely dinner. We especially enjoyed the company. So refined. She did recognize him, huh? Mm-hmm. And they got confirmation. That's not good. Oh boy. Oh, uh, beg your pardon. Just turning down your bed. Forgot those little pillow mates. Um. Doesn't have his weapon. Gosh, you're a handsome couple. Lost my train of thought. Be right back. <laughs> oh no. But he has the book on him. What if he needs help? Plus, he's got to squirts. I'll distract you. Go quietly. Ahem. Ladies and lords, allow Scanlan Shorthalt to delight you with an after dinner song I like to call Who My Beads of Love. Two, three, four! <laughs> it's like this go off. Top pieces. <laughs> <laughs> James Brown song. And you look delicious. Let's say oh, vampire. Man. No. <laughs> oh, he jumped out the window. How high up is he? Hopefully there's a... Oh, there's a pool. Okay. That flag was not in a good spot. Fuck stick. <laughs> Fuck stick. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor animated members, sir. <laughs> Shit. There's no way out tonight, my friend. Oh, expected Dimitri. Eagly. It's the pup who survived. All grown up. Step off, bitch. They're so powerful. So she's just like a witch, not really a vampire. Maybe it's just him. These are amongst protectors of the realm. Ooh, good shot. Oh, snap. Oh, shit, that ain't good. <laughs> that went straight through. Oh, I thought it was hand. You got a sword. Oh, that's cute. Go, Grog. Oh, I like that. Oh, oh, it's a blood drinker that nice. sword. Yep. Oh, it got oh, bigger. Shit. You were saying. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cool concept for a sword. I feel like it's competing with him though. Yeah, I'm like, it's a blood drinker, but he's a blood drinker. Well, maybe he can, like, take <coughs> it down, you know? Oh, bless it! Charm. Can't this heal that. Heal. No. Is entirely too much trouble. Hack off! Oh, shit. No balls. Why were the 
Briarwoods here? What were they after? Independence. Uh, they were invited, like you, by Sovereign Uriel. Silas and Delilah have never left the confines of Whitestone before. Why here? Why now? Answer me. Now. What the actual fuck? Oh, shit, Percy, what are you doing? Please. I'm, I'm only a servant. They, they don't tell me anything. Oh, shit. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Oh, my Stop. God. <laughs> Fool. Now your soul is forfeit. What is the meaning of this? Guards, arrest Vox Machina. Go, go. Oh, I didn't last long. Yeah, he did a great job. <laughs> What's the next? This one's always the same, right? Yeah, pretty much. Except for Matthew Mercer. Felicia Day. Great Griffin. Okay. Yeah. Definitely jumping into the backstory of Percy in this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. That guy's I like a, it. That guy's a vampire. I don't think she is. She seems to be like a sorceress or yeah, <laughs> some kind of. I don't know. Vampires she, can use magic I too. Guess, I suppose she could be a vampire. We didn't see her with the teeth. <laughs> We did in the bedroom, but, but it's not to say that she wasn't about to like and do the bite thing. Yeah, I wonder if like if she has the same shadow thing that's in him. Yeah, right. Because uh, whenever we had his flashback and we were seeing his family die, the last thing we saw was this kind of like black energy, like being coming towards the camera or the frame. Uh, and then he, it seemed like she was doing that, but I wonder if he it was him or or <clears throat> whatever they did infected him or changed him in some way. I don't know. Seems like he has this persona that he has, and he hasn't been that person since he joined Vox Machina. Yeah, maybe. But keeps that mask around though. He does. <laughs> Hangs it yeah. over his bed. It's like the there was like smoke or energy coming from under his clothes and then he puts the mask on is that well there was a really breathe it in there was a really cool shadow on the ground yeah. in the foreground when he was gonna shoot the guy yeah like a raven or some bird of prey it looked like a gargoyle almost it was like it was a bird some kind of bird yeah had like beaks and stuff if you go back to it and stuff you can kind of see like it has like hands as opposed to like wings but it looks like a bird's head. We Might have a, more of a in the intro. We have a bird that, that <clears throat> creates the golden threads. Yeah, mm -hmm. it reminds me more of the uh, what's the race of bird people in D and D? Um, oh, the Rito. No, that's not right. I was a bird. The Kinku. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Or the ones that serve with an A. No, not those ones. I think it's by the Kinku. The Kinku are more like a raven. Oh, they're like a crow. Yeah, mimic yeah. people. <clears throat> I like the nickname Pickle. For Pike, yeah, because Vax was like, "Thanks, Pickle." Mm -hmm. I was like, "Ah, it's a good nickname." It's not <laughs> a bad one. Is she sour? <sighs> she doesn't seem sour. I just are all pickles sour? Yeah. Sometimes they're spicy. Sometimes they're sweet. But they're like that and sour. I feel like just it's like add an L to the end of Pike, and you kind of get pickle. 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 Pike hell. Because. Pickle. L is right after the K. Eric, are you taking pickle notes? Good doing it. Coach, no more, no more pickle notes. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on your side. <laughs> I'm not on the side of ball tag. No. no. That. Wait, how's, what do you get a three-pointer? Is it is if you do both at the same time. Huh? Well, no, I think it's... Dick and balls. Yeah. I, I think that they know when it's a third. Like, you can ball. flick and get a ball. You can flick and get the other ball. You can flick and get the head. Yeah. But if you, like, perfectly flick, maybe you can hit all three. You get a strike. It's an intricate rule set. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And uh, it didn't work on the vampire. He no. wears a cup. He or came prepared. he has no balls. Or he doesn't feel pain. Scanlan had a cup. Because he also did not care when he got shot straight through his body. <laughs> he was he like, did, ah! Uh, you know? The, uh, the bless... Uh, sword wasn't healing. At least I didn't see it healed, sure. right? The blessed axe yeah. from Grog? Yeah, the axe, yeah. That was cool detail. I love seeing, like, Pike, like, 
She's like, I got you. Like, she's not usually like the fighter, but she's like cool helping them in character. Yeah, yeah, making their weapons stronger. Or she's got to concentrate. And she's got a cleric. Yeah, she has the the shield too. Yeah, right? but she lost her. Um, what's her the amulet. word I keep trying to think of? Token. To- like, um, oh, paladins probably have them, but uh, Palace. clerics especially Palace. have them. Like clerics oh, have to have like a divine a, symbol. Yeah, like they had to have something along those lines where it's like my my power comes from. Yeah, and it might be on a necklace. It might be a shield. It might, you know, there's something that they have. Yeah, she follows the and, Everlight, and hers, she like just it got broken there. So I think it's neat having like the last one covering on dragons, but like there could be more with that story. But that was more for Vax and Vex with the dragon and getting a home and stuff. And now we move on, continuing on, and now you get Percy with a little bit more backstory on. Yeah, I wonder if it would and be a, her. When you get to Pike, if we get to a Pike story, it might be well. I, I need to fix my divine symbol. I wonder if we'll be a part one, part two throughout the series, or, or if I mean the only precedent is that we've had one so far, and this one seems like it's going to be one. Sure, but I wonder if that's a concentrated effort thing of two per arc. Yeah, that's usually how a good D and D campaign goes. It's like you have the central story, and then either individual character stories weave into that, or mm-hmm. you take branches and then come back to the yeah. Room. Sure, you get a, you get a seed, and they decide where to go. But like if they go this way, this is more of a character driven thing. Which I like that they do that here, where it's like Percy is the one who's like these people. I have this attachment to. It's like okay, well let's investigate them and see yeah. what's going on, and we will find out and help you. If they had stayed quiet, maybe they would have learned more about other dragons. Sure. So they would have gone a different route, but that's what they decided to do. So, the, like uh, it. it's always fun to have multiple ways you can yeah. go. Where like, well, this one kind of branches from the main path, sure. or we can stick with the main path, or it branches but actually loops back in over here by the end of it. You know, like maybe they are in league with the dragons thing as well. You know, or maybe not. So does Vax become a vampire because he was bitten, <clears throat> or is it a bite with intention, or? I mean, you could have those. You can also have that because Pike was healing him. She got to him fast enough that he doesn't get, you know, or... Like, if you don't heal it in an hour, it does happen or something. Sure. It depends. And you could also be a thrall of a vampire, too. Not like... (coughs) Like a ghoul, yeah. Yeah. Vampires have a lot of rules in and outside Mm -hmm. of D&D. Yeah, like Helsing vampires. They can make you a vampire, they can make you a ghoul, where you're just like a zombie, pretty much. Yeah. So, it's it's hard to tell. familiar in Blade. It's hard to tell if he'll become a vampire or not. Yeah, okay. Just wondering. And now will they head to Briarwood? Well, uh, that's once wait, they get out of still? prison. That's true. Yeah. Sure. Dot man, Scanlon song. Love it. It was too good. <laughs> right? I love what they're doing with him. It's so much fun. Like, uh, he's he supposed had... to be a very charismatic, singing dude. And I, th- I feel like they do a really good job with him in this The show. concept of a disco ball codpiece and the light hitting it, the perfect angle during his song is pretty great. Yeah. And him splattering what look like cheesecakes or something on his body so that he can pelvic thrust the yeah. chunks off now, onto dude, the Dude, that one guy was a fan. He was. He was, he was getting into it. Boom, yeah. my motherfucking was. beads. <laughs> uh, I can't transition. Uh, Vax also saw in the books, uh, excuse me, something the, about the whispered one. The whispered one. Maybe, I was thinking, like, it didn't seem like... Uh, Delilah and uh, Silas were trying to kill him. Maybe they like they put something in him as a child so that it could like mature or something. Uh, like Maybe the power that's in him Percy is could be the, like an egg. Is the whispered one or something? Oh, interesting. I don't know. I think the whispered one is a nickname of Vecna, who's the god of secrets. Okay, but that was not his symbol. Yeah, they had like a blind skull. Mm. They seem to say something about uh, Pike and her god, right? I thought there was a line there. I don't know who Pike's god is. Well, Pike worships the Everlight. I don't know if that's a god or just like a force. Not, and I, don't, I shouldn't say worship. I should say invokes. I, I think it's like a power base of a god. Maybe. Not that the Everlight is yeah. a god, but it's like, you know, what is it? Ta- Talos is the, the god of light. That's from Skyrim. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, sure. they say praise the light mm-hmm. of Talos, not yeah. like praise, praise the, the sun. Praise that's from, the sun, that's from Dark Souls. Another thing. Yeah. Also, I'm going to get... I think Aaron would have done that. <laughs> Got to be quicker, Aaron. 
Well, I had a segue too for my Scanlan thing, but you you moved on without letting me. Was it about Scantrons? About pulling the beads, and you're like, I don't know how to transition. I was like, what you don't want to pull is his belt because it'll turn into a snake. And then, I'm then sorry I, gonna, that I denied the work. Then like I was going to lead in the vax, but I didn't. I didn't get there. Sure. Sure. Snake's pretty cool. I did like this. Why does I have an eye patch? I don't know. Like a solid cool. snake. Like like uh, yeah. I, well oh. yeah, but more like his like big boss. Yeah, naked snake. <laughs> you, you know why? Yeah, it solid snake an, didn't actually have an eye patch. He does eventually, doesn't he? Guys, he does. Yeah, guys. I'm not fucking wrong. What? Well, <laughs> it's got an eye patch because it's a one-eyed snake. <clears throat> yeah, but you can have one eye without an eye patch. Um, it's his belt. Also. Yeah. But it's a one-eyed snake. You sure. just had one big eye here, like Sai snake. Sai snake. Hmm. You want to go get the penis hat? Chinga. I will, but I'm not wearing it. Again. <laughs> <laughs> we know what happened last time. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Vox Machina with us. Please enjoy more at patreon.com slash blindwave where you can watch up to the next four reactions right this second. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See there? Bye. You missed a syllable. I said it right this second.